welcome to the well. Welcome. Hi. I hope you're fine. Uh, I hope you're having fun today. <laughs> We're having so much fun, aren't we, guys? We are having fun. We always have fun here at the well. We do. Yeah. And we, if you haven't seen last week's episode, <laughs> you should watch it because we had fun making it's it about what we do throughout the day. Yeah, like basically you just work out all day, is that right? And go on a scooter. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. I go quite fast on the scooter. But this week on the well, this week, ooh, oh my we goodness. are talking what about the perfect in-ears monitor mix. Wow. Two episodes in-ears. ago we talked about the perfect front of house mix. Mm-hmm. But this week we're going to talk about the perfect in ears mix. Because if you can't hear the front of house mix, it sounds bad. Very bad. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Should we talk about last weekend? Yes. Mm-hmm. We had 300 people again, and it was still a great Sunday. Of we didn't course. We didn't have Inner Champion, though. No, we no. had it a bit easier this weekend, you yep. know. Only with Saturday night and Sunday services. Yep. We're One Saturday night service. Middle of school holidays as well, so no boom on Friday. That's nice I for know, you. Guys. Oh, it was lovely. <laughs> But Ham, you and me got a week off next week. Yes. And you as well? Just a few days. Yes. Oh. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> what, you don't like half offs? That's why <laughs> you guess. like part tens. Yes. I don't, I don't like them. Later on in the episode, we're going to be answering some questions. So write your questions into the well at planetshakers.com or you can write them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to Planet Shakers TV as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, I feel press, like if we, were, bell. if we were true YouTubers, we'd be saying like and subscribe at the end of every yeah. video, like all the, my son's videos that he watches on YouTube about <laughs> toy reviews and stuff like that. But um, Let's do awesome. that. Like and subscribe right Smash now. Like, like and subscribe. Button, hit the bell. Get all the notifications. <laughs> You're a pro <laughs> at this, go. aren't you? I've watched a lot of toy videos. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's toy reviews. Share that. Um, but yes, we'd love to answer your questions. So but let's, just, review. let's just get to the, the main thing, shall we? Shall we? we yes. Shall. So, the perfect monitors mix. Well, Some it's different s- for everyone. It is different. Some would say it's a very important thing. Very important. Mm. I remember I said that before. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And it is, very important. it is different for different people. And that's yes. why we want to talk about it because it's not like one size fits all when it comes to a monitors mix. Mm. That's right. Some people need to hear things louder than others and we'll give you some great examples. So, mm-hmm. what we've done on the last Sunday is recorded our monitor mix for you to hear. Yeah. So. Oh. Should we start with yours, Ham, and just have a quick listen? Sure. This is what oh. Ham is hearing in his ears last Sunday. Well, that, that is interesting. Well, there you go. So, <laughs> it, he gets a round of applause for it. Thanks. <laughs> wow. Did so, to explain to people, obviously they just heard it, but yeah. how do you, what, where do you start with your in mix? Well, I think um, I'll get a different mix depending on what I'm doing. Sometimes I'll play guitar at Boom and the mix will change from if I'm playing bass on a Sunday. Um, and then obviously also I'm running the tracks. So, there's all these different um, hats that I wear which means that I need different things in my ears so that I can best do what I need to do. For example, um, I hope you would have heard the tracks were quite loud in my ears. That's because I'm in charge of the tracks. Mm-hmm. It's also so that I can get a vibe and get you know, have fun with it because a lot of tracks elements make the song just like exciting and fun Ooh, and big. It but it also means that, say for example, we uh, go to a different part of the song that the tracks don't do, I can hear that the tracks are going to go this way. And I don't know if you noticed, but I have a, a volume pedal. I can fade the tracks out slowly. I need to be able to hear the tracks mm. so that I know that I'm fading it out smoothly and not just going, uh, and it's gone. Um, and I've also got lots of bass, as you can hear, lots of drums, as you can hear, lots of piano, so that I can tell what the piano chords are playing so that I can play with them. Um, but you might also notice, and I'm sorry to say, I don't have heaps of click Mm, no, you talk about that. I was going to say that. Yeah, I don't have heaps of click because my philosophy is the drums needs to be able to hear lots of click so they can lock in with the click, but the bass needs to hear lots of drums because out front, nobody else can hear the click. They can only hear how tight the drums and bass are. So I need to make sure I'm super tight with the drums and trust the drummer to stay locked in with that click. It's a very, very good point, very wise, because if you're, like you said, you can you can go, nope, I'm playing in time with a click. <laughs> Drummer can do whatever he wants. 
But then out the front, it'll just be a mess. Yeah, and you'll nice. get brownie points for being tight with the click, but for everyone else, it'll just be normal. It'll be annoying. That's true. So, yeah, it is very important. Even if it's better to stay in time with the drummer, even if he goes way off the click. Totally. Um, then you put your foot down to go, no, I'm staying with the click. <laughs> very good point. Um, and what about crowd mics? I don't really hear much crowd mics. No, I have zero crowd mics. Ever, but, always, even when we're on tour? Always. Yep. Always. There'll be times where, um, especially your mate Amy would yes. go like this. And that means just the crowd's going to sing this bit. <laughs> and sometimes the monitor engineer will write up the crowd so that I can hear the crowd singing. And every time I look over them going, stop it. I don't want the crowd. Because a lot of the time the crowd's out of time. Yep. And it's our job on stage to keep the time for them. I don't want to be dictated by what yep. they're doing. I want to be the one to lead them. Yeah. You know? All right. Shall we have this in my ears then? I would love that. All right. Here they go. Belonging to your family is the greatest thing in my life. Hey. Uh-huh. I'm gonna tell my world how good it is to be a part of this. There's nothing else that could compare to this. I talked to Father, Father, and when you join together, no separate. You, me, the church, that's us. So, anyways, there is my in ears mix. Sounded good to me. I bet you're wondering what we were talking about as we were listening to that. Um, but it, the way I approach it, ask me how I approach it. Hey, Hey, Giles. Yeah. How no, do excuse you... me. Uh, hey, Giles. Yeah. How do you... Uh... <laughs> how do you... How... Hey, uh, hey Giles. <laughs> well, what I like to do... <laughs> um, I, unfortunately, <laughs> have to have lots of click in my ears. Oh, fair. As you can hear. It's funny because our click sound here at Planet Shakers, as you heard, is very bang, distinct. Bang, bang, bang. Quite attack, a lot of attack and a lot yeah. of... Um, which, which is good. I, I like it like that. It's very good. I remember hearing it for the first time going, this is weird. But... Um, <laughs> Like when I came to join Planet Shakers and I started hearing these tracks, I'm like, it's so loud and like, but when you, with the energy that we have and when the crowd's going nuts, mm. you need that really piercing, uh, clear click so you, so you can hear what's going on. Oh. I have to have a lot of click in my ears because some of, some of the Prey songs don't start with any intro. They literally just have one count off and then bam, we, st we start singing. So That's true. I'm, Which I is need, you. You're always counting yourself You always up. start. It's my voice on the MD <laughs> track, as you heard. Yeah. Um, if, if you did hear it. So I, I need to um, have that so clear. So over the top of the band washing at the intro or whatever, when that click comes in, I need to hear that so clear. Many times I haven't been able to hear it for whatever reason <laughs> and it's like, you're catching Looks up amazing. with the vocals. <laughs> Um, that's life. the good thing about playing bass. I usually don't start playing until the pre-chorus. So <laughs> I just get to watch and see if Joth goes, oh, you got it again. He's so good. But for me, creating the, the greatest vibe in our environment is having good, fat kick and snare. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't really like heaps of overheads because my vocal is quite loud in my ears and that's picking up a lot of cymbals and stuff like that too. Um, so I don't get asked ever. I really ask for overheads. A bit of toms, always panned out, which we didn't talk about panning with your ears, but panning is so important because... Mm. Um, what we mean by panning is instead of everything just being mono, you pan one tom here, one tom here, the tracks are panned hard left, hard right, so it's stereo, and that gives it a much big, bigger open sound. Mm. Um, but then my guitar is obviously quite present in the mix so I can make sure I'm playing the right chords and, or, and playing in time. Um, I'll have Pastor Sam to my right. So, And this is important with, with, with singers. If you have multiple singers in your ears all down the middle, it becomes hard to distinguish which, you know, all these different voices, but... But the best thing you can do is have your voice dead centre and cool. have everything else panned. And that's what we do with our MD mics too, mm. um, where we have, you know, like, because everyone's got an MD mic on stage pretty much now, um, they'll all be panned out like Andy over here, you here and Scott over here or whatever. So that's how I approach that. Having the vocal clear and loud enough that you don't need to push your voice too much is, if I feel like I'm starting to push my voice and it's starting to like ruin my voice, I'll make sure I always get a little bit more... Um, Level. <laughs> and the only thing is with the button, I can just say to Brendo or whoever's on monitors. Say or yell? No, I just, I just say it. <laughs> <laughs> I need more! <laughs> um, but, yeah, that's pretty much my, my how I approach it. I don't get any BVs. Not that I don't like BVs, but I, it, it's just not a necessary thing that I need to hear. There's already so much going on with our tracks, click, my own voice, but hearing the past Sam or whoever else is leading uh, my guitar keyboard, you know, so much going on. I don't want to add more and more to it for the sake of it. Mm. Mm. Um, however, in conference time, we had like Nat and Chelsea doing these feature vocals and Amy. So we got them turned up at the, at the appropriate times by the monitor engineer. But right. apart from that, that is me. 
Sound pretty good. Amazing. Shall we have a listen to yours? Oh, Shall we give I'm that a cut too? This. Thanks. <laughs> All right, let's have a listen to Pastor Sam. Okay, my turn. Well, that's very interesting. Mm. You, do, you have your voice loud. Yeah. I noticed. But not, not super loud. But nice I mean, and clear. Yeah. And you're in there too. So yeah. um, I think that's important. But then a little bit of the vocal tracks. I don't yep. know if you notice that too. I'd prefer a little bit of that so that I know um, when I'm singing in tune. Yeah, because that helps. Rather than yeah. listening to some BBs that yeah. might not always sing in tune. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> But at least I know they're in tune. Um, but yeah, I I love a clear guitar. Mm -hmm. Like love that. That's of course, in tune. I love the the kick and snare. Don't like the overheads. Hopefully you could hear that. Don't like the crowd mics. It does depend on too the, our environment because our, our room here is so verby and mm. like we're in a warehouse. But if we were in a really dry like a movie theatre or something like that, and the drums was behind a perspex thing, then I probably would get a bit of overheads. Yeah, that's true. So it's all in context with your room. But then also um, a lot of people, like a lot of singers, like a lot of reverb. I don't like a lot of reverb because mm. I feel the frequencies start mixing up with the, um, like the keyboard frequency or the, I don't know, guitar frequency. And then sometimes it's like, Vroom! and it's like, I can't hear anything. I can't pitch. And then I do like to pitch off the guitar. So, you know, that's one of those prominent instruments but then of course I love the bass because you got to get into the you know the feel of things it's really like pressing play on a cd I feel like my ears are <laughs> just, this is so good um no like it's it's a broad spectrum yeah. of yeah. things it's a good you balance all the instruments. yeah yep like the, the general rule would be try to create a cd mix with your instrument la the loudest so you know you do want to hear naturally a bit of everything um, and I get a little bit of guitar to play in my ears mm. more so I can make sure they're playing the right thing and correct them if they're not because that is my role as a music director too. I need to be able to hear these instruments. But where we stand out the front in front of house, like I can usually just hear it on front of house anyway because it's yeah. so loud. But um, yeah. another point with monitors and getting the perfect monitor mix is, is one that um, – doesn't change unnecessarily. <laughs> so, yes. so, so when you get settled in with your ears, we encourage our monitor engineers, don't just go fiddling with stuff mm. to make it sound better in your own opinion. Mm. Like, Because yeah. once it gets settled, even if it's not quite perfect, once it gets settled in our minds and we're out there doing what we do, if we start hearing changes, it, it really messes with things. Like you get settled yeah. in going, okay, my voice is here. But then if, if he thinks I've started to lose my voice, he or she, and then they start turning it up, like that, that's going to put me off. Yeah. So. Once you, get, once you get it settled after sound check, we encourage our guys, yeah, yeah. do what you want, but this is how we do it. Don't, don't go messing with stuff yeah. because that can mm. And sometimes if I've heard other people's in-ear mixes, I'm like, oh, that's so unbalanced. Mm. So like lots of vocal and then, you know, maybe keyboard or something. And I'm like, wow, you just need so much more of the band to help you sing properly. It's not all about just your vocal mm. because mm. just your vocal in your ear with the keyboard, you're going to miss so much of the, what's happening in the band. Yep. And so I think that's really important for vocalists not to just, yeah, just limit their mix and just have hardly anything in there. Mm. We talked about, um, you want to say something? Oh, I was just thinking it's so important to have a good like, open dialogue with your monitor engineer. Because yep. like while you were talking, I was thinking about how my mix would be quite different from your mix mm. and there might be a monitor engineer going, well, this is the correct mix, so I'll give everybody the same mix, but I want something different. So if you get up and your mix is terrible and the monitor engineer might think, monitor engineer, <laughs> engineer. <laughs> might think that that's what you want, you need to have that relationship with them to go, well, actually, I can't hear myself. It's not clear. Can you help me? I don't know what to ask for. I don't know what to look for. It sounds muddy. It sounds, I don't know. They love those kinds of descriptive words. <laughs> it sounds harsh. It sounds blunt. It Talking sounds tunnel. Woofy, you know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That helps them. So keep that open dialogue. Yeah, and, and, and try to learn these, these lingos too. Mm. Like 
like I know because I'm I do audio that I know the f- certain frequencies. I can say, oh, 3K is really bad. So that's obviously great. But if you obviously no one, not everyone's going to know that. So learn the lingo because that's going to help. And the other thing I want to say is treat your monitor engineers with great respect and yeah. honor, just like you would with the the worship leader. They're a part mm. of the team as much as anyone else. They are holding it together as much as anyone mm. else. Yeah. And they're not just like a, a sideshow thing that we just bark orders at. They're as mu- like they're just part of the team. Totally. Yes. And so we really want to um, encourage you to honour them. Mm. And um, yeah. people do their best work when they feel honoured and they feel, you know, valued. Yeah. Um, and so we want everyone to be doing their best work. Mm. And they they have a really challenging job because mm-hmm. everyone here is different. Mm. So they are going to have to interpret all of these individuals and give them what they desire and like. Mm. And so that's a really hard job. So maybe we should mm. show a bit more grace. Yeah, absolutely. It's oh. so easy to get frustrated when your yeah. mix isn't right and you can't do what you yeah. need to do. Yeah. But you can't get frustrated at them. That's where the peace of God, grace of God, you need a, yeah. you know, your family. And good communication. Yeah. I remember I used to be a lot more pedantic about getting a good mix in my ears. I think maybe as I'm, I've matured, I've just gone, as long as I've got, my voice yeah. enough to hear and sing. You yeah. just you just roll with it. So you don't want to get don't want to spend too much time and be a diva and go. I need to get things perfect. <laughs> you know what I mean? No. Oh. I, and it does limit you if yeah. you want that perfect mix. Because I remember a time in Peru. That's exactly what I was going to really? say. Really? Well, I was you about tell to share. Story. I was going to say. Does it? Do you want to hear a crazy story? Yeah. Go do on. you want to hear a crazy oh, story? I'd love to hear a crazy no, story. No, we were in Peru. We've only been to Peru once, and it was a big auditorium. Maybe it was, it was, a, it was an arena, like yeah. 15, 16,000 people. Maybe 20,000, 21,000. No, I, don't no know. I thought it was like. Forty thousand. It was a anyway, lot of people. Massive lots. arena, um, and we had two consoles, and we and we only had one um, production guy with us. So that's just crazy, yes. right? And so he was he was on front of house, but he was gonna. Do, and there's a there's a there was a monitors console, but for whatever reason, because they're all digital consoles, they, they weren't being connected properly, and they weren't syncing yeah, with each they other. They weren't talking to each other. So it's just w- like we couldn't understand. Everyone talking over there. So, <laughs> yes. so the front of house, <laughs> the front of house would work, right? But then nothing in our ears would work. Mm. So it's like, oh, what's going on? So, anyways, he flicked some switches. Then our ears started working. So we're like, oh, thank God. But then whatever he did on that caused front of house to stop working. <laughs> so it was either we go with front of house or we go with our ears. <laughs> and some people would choose their ears and just, <laughs> you know, whatever front of house. But of course, <laughs> we went with front of house. I think. By the end of it, we were able to get both working, but we didn't have any time to tweak our ears no. or do anything, so we had to roll with it. I'm and pretty sure while that was all happening, figuring out the kerfuffle, whoever was in media pressed play on the countdown video to start the set. <laughs> like, the, amount of, it, it <laughs> the amount of times that has happened. Yeah. We have not been ready at all. Oh. Like, that's happened in... <laughs> Nigeria, <laughs> that's happened in um, br- uh, Brooklyn, New York, where yeah, we, like, we're still oh, like okay. plugging in tracks and they start the intro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but then you just got to roll with it and yes. figure out what to do. And Brendo was amazing on that Peru thing. He was. Oh, yes. He was drumming and then yep. helping and do everything. And the, the same drums time, and so. running out the side. And so, anyways. Those were the days when we could travel. Uh-huh. Borders open travels. up in Jesus' name. Amen. I, I can't wait to go back to the Philippines. Yeah. And, and just have a crazy. Fun. And we also can't wait that. to go to South Korea. Oh, Seoul. Yeah. They're my two probably wish list things. What's your wish lists? Um, Places. Paris. <laughs> London. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. Gold Coast. <laughs> I'm going to go back to Malaysia. KL, yes. go to Sunway Lagoon. Oh, yes. I can't oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that's so fun. <laughs> I can't wait to go. I, we, we really miss it. Can't yeah, wait to be back with all you guys. So, yeah. But we are wanting to have that Philippines thing. Concert. Yes. and We're looking forward to that. We're, yeah. going, we're trying to make a big concert happen. Yes. As soon as, we, soon as borders and everything open, we are there. Yeah. Be awesome. So check it out. All right, guys, here is some questions. If you have any, write them into the well at com or write them on social media or write them in uh, comments on YouTube. Blah, 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 blah. It sounds like a horse it's race. Um, so person. fast. <laughs> oh, my goodness. First question is from Samuel Henry. He's got two questions. How many songs do you guys write in a year? Oh, wow. How well, many? Thousand. Between Planet Shakes and Boom, I would say uh, over 100, easy. Mm. Like... If you, you know, if you do, well, it would be one a week if it was one a week, it's 52 songs, and then we'd do more than that. We don't obviously release them all, mm. but we write lots and whatever ends up on the album ends up on the album, but we we're constantly writing. So maybe and that. Like you've been writing kids' songs now and you've been yep. writing Christmas um, songs. Christmas, so. Yeah, lots of songs. And, and we really just keep, keep them, tr- try to keep them tuning out. Um, next question is, do you guys prefer studio or live albums? Great question. 
What do you prefer? Oh, I don't know if I can answer that. I appreciate There's pros and cons. both. Mm, yeah. um, I think, yeah, look, with music, you might as well just love everything, right? And then you just <laughs> open yourself up to so much joy. So yeah. I love both, live go. and studio. The, I love live because of the the moment that you can capture of everyone worshiping, mm. which is there's nothing like it. But then I, being a producer, as I'm sure you'll testify to this too, is you can just you can break all the rules when you're just just That's doing true. a studio album. You can just flip it and make the tempo change. Like you do whatever you want, and there's no rules literally. Where certain guidelines you have to stick within doing a live mm. album, but not in a studio. So I, I enjoy that from a producing point of view. Yeah, that's true. I love in the live albums, especially the ones that we do, when I was there when we recorded it and I remember having the encounter with God and then I can listen back and go, yeah. oh, I'm right back there again. Yeah, that's I true. Love those moments. And Very I true. laughed the other day when I was listening to um, one of the songs on the Boom live album and I've got Noah saying, if you've got hands. <laughs> Clap. No, just, lift them. You know, if you've got yeah. hands. If you've got hands, lift them up. Okay. And I was like. If you don't have them, you that can't lift them. That is awesome because. <laughs> It's a live album. You can't rub that out. That's it's true. there. And he said, welcome to Planet Boom launch, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, changing oh, the game here. Priceless little champion. moments. <laughs> Next question is from Tim Thorpe. This is Tim from Seattle, USA. Hi. The place of coffee. It's not a question. Do you love coffee? I don't. Okay. Recently, I discovered Planet Shakers music for the first time. Oh. And my question is, what was the original vision for Planet Shakers worship ministry? And how does it different today from an early concept that you may have envisioned? This is probably a simple answer, isn't it? I don't think it's changed, I, I really. I wouldn't say it has, no. No. Um, look, I suppose we stumbled into recording worship out of the, the Planet Shakers conferences that we started. and Year 2000 was the first one. Yeah, and so really we were just after capturing what God was doing in our conferences mm. amongst young people and, and I suppose that was capturing the worship because, oh my goodness, the fire, the power of God in our worship was amazing, is mm. amazing. Yeah. And so I suppose it hasn't changed in that. We just want to capture what God is doing at Planet Shakers, um, empowering a generation to win generations. And it's so amazing. So you need to come to one of our conferences. Well, come to I was Melbourne. just about to mention that actually. Yes. I do remember one change where originally it was empowering a generation to win a generation. Now it has become empowering generations mm. to win generations. And I love being there on a Sunday looking down and seeing your dad yeah. mm -hmm. in the praise songs, in the Planet Boom songs, just grooving yeah. away, having a great time. And then you see Planet Kids as well. It's incredible. Yeah. It's a church yeah. for all. Totally. I'm on stage and then I look at this way. I see Josiah, my son down there. I look over there, see my dad. It's great. Yeah, good answer. <laughs> <laughs> Next question is from... A name that is very hard to say, J-C-A-S-T-I-B-L-A-N, Blanco, 31. Josh, can you recommend a bass guitar for me and my church? I recommend that you explore getting a jazz bass, specifically a Fender jazz yep. bass. Um, if you can, get an American Fender jazz bass, do that. Otherwise, there are some good Mexican Fender jazz basses. You just got to have a play and see if it sounds and feels right. Go for a five string if you can. You don't have to start on a four and graduate to a five. You can start yeah. on a five string. I would encourage it. I would encourage the same thing. Next question is from 3719 Natalia. How old were you when you started writing music and leading in worship team? That's you? Me? Um, well, you started in 97, right? Leading the Plant Shakers conference. Yeah, so I don't know. You're like 12 then, right? <laughs> yeah. Ten? Oh, yeah. Maybe. Oh, it doesn't matter what age you were. Uh, that's when you did it. I Ninety-seven. Was, no, I was in my twenties. Yeah. Early twenties. I started doing my old kids' church when I was fourteen. Started like singing some of those songs. I don't even remember what sort of songs they were, to be honest. But that's when I did. Yeah, I remember playing for my kids' church as well. But I was playing behind the actual bass player who was plugged in. I wasn't plugged in. No, <laughs> that's that's, that's, so that's a great way to start. Eh? Oh, that's cute. That's su you're super cute. Um, <laughs> Did you have a beard then? <laughs> Almost. <laughs> the next question is from Christopher Peterson. Do you offer music teaching at Planet Shakers to people who want to get better at singing or playing instruments? We do. We do. We, we have, have soccer. Soccer is S-O-C-A, which is School of Creative Arts. Mm. And, yeah, if you're here in Melbourne, we do offer that. And you can do it online, I believe. You can do it online, mm -hmm. I believe. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. 
Yep. Check out our website and that will help you. Yes. Well, that's all the time we have for, for questions today. So if you have any, write them in. We'd love to answer them for you next week. And don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't forget. <laughs> That is all the time we have for today on The Well. We hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for next week's episode. It's going to be a fun one. 